Basketball fans, welcome to Canada's home for talking hoops. This is The Hangout, the second best basketball show in the world. I'll say it now because the very best basketball show is Open Gym, and we're going to talk about that today. First, I've got to introduce you to our panel. You know him and you love him because he's my partner in crime here on this show. That's Dan Gladman, the producer of the Raptors broadcast. What's up? All right, and then the next gentleman here, well, okay, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't womanize. All he does is raptorize. Super fan, Navbatya, thank you for coming thank out. Thank you for having me. Okay, now i got to take my time here and do this intro properly. So, <laughs> for, you, for those of you who don't know, I went to college with this guy. And then one day on the subway, while he was working on a show called NBA XL, he said to me, you know, Akil, I, can, I could probably get you a job over at uh, <laughs> Raptors TV at the time. And then he got me in the door, and one thing led to another. We're working at NBA XL together, another show together, another show together. Hit me one time, Jeff. This is my best friend in television in the world. That is super producer Jeff Landicho, the producer of Open Gym, the show we're breaking down today. So let's just get into it, Jeff. How did Cagers come about? For those of you who don't know, <laughs> Cagers is the original we don't, show. We don't need to let that out, please. <laughs> Jeff and I were throwing back ideas for the days yeah. of the show, and he came with Cagers. How did it come about? Well, Cagers, the, 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 name, the name process for the show took a long time, actually. But to go back to, to the origin of the show, uh, I had been doing behind-the-scenes features with the team for quite some time. One rookie with DeMar? DeMar, behind the drafts, uh, all sorts of stuff. So... A couple seasons ago, we, we wanted to pitch the idea with all the success of 24-7 and, and all these docu-series. Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks. We wanted to pitch the idea to, to possibly do a, a Raptors-focused uh, behind-the-scenes show. Was it Brian Colangelo that reached out first? or? Did well, you... it, was, it, was, it, was, uh, it was both. It, 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 we went into the preseason meetings. Uh, Danny, you were there, I yep. believe. Um, we had our, our pitch all ready to, to propose to, to Brian. And before we even showed him the document, he was like, you know what, I, I, think, I think doing a behind the scenes show would be, would be pretty interesting. And we're like, well, <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, now, Dan, I mean, you're a guy who has access. You travel with the team on the plane, you're around. But once you saw the end product on screen of what, was Jeff, what Jeff was able to do and how much they opened the doors to the crew, what was your impression of that show? Well, it's just so refreshing to be able to see what truly happens behind the scenes, not just for those of us who are around it every day, but for it to be on film, to be produced and put together with, with stories the way Jeff does it. Uh, it, it. It was just, it was exciting even to know that it was gonna happen and to see the, the finished product of, uh, of this show on, a, you know, however often the episodes come out, it's just a, such an awesome way to experience this team and you have to give that show some credit for, a, for some of the popularity of the team right now because these players, when you watch them on Open Gym, go f so far beyond just being basketball players. You see them as the human beings that they are. All right, now, Nav, you got access. You're around. But, but a, lot of, a lot of success with things, Jeff, I'll say, come to timing. The timing of your show was perfect. Mm -hmm. For you, you've always had access to this Raptors group, but talk about this year, being behind the scenes and seeing what this group went through. What was that like for you? This was amazing. I mean, we got what we didn't expect. Beginning of the season, we had no expectation. <laughs> yep, exactly. And they went down further yeah. during the November and all Rudy that. Rudy Gay era. Rudy Gay <laughs> era. Well, I don't want to name a person <laughs> because I never dished down on a player. No, no, no. He, he but, but you know, he was a good guy. Yep. He, anyway, so after that, what happened? I think it was history. For me, to go through from that particular time to the playoffs yeah and standing with you <laughs> on the Raptors square yeah that was amazing I tell you that was amazing when I saw 10 to 12,000 people and so many South Asian from my community yeah. yep well you're a big part of them even being introduced to the game well 20 years ago we were eight to ten people sitting <laughs> in the sky dome <laughs> and there was no one with the turban and here I'm standing with you on the in the on the stage at the Raptors Square, and I'm seeing thousands of South Asians and so many with turban. That made me that we have arrived, and our community, South Asian community, has connected and accepted the basketball, the game of basketball, yeah. which I always feel is the best game right. ever made. All right. Well, hey, we got to thank you for introducing us to the South Asian community at a certain level and for them to the game. And it's all been great. Jeff, we thank you so much. You have arrived. And um, guess what? The 
final episode of The Hangout is going to drop. So we're going to leave you with this very special sneak peek before we come back on block two of The Hangout. Here is the trailer for episode nine. <laughs>